Welcome, my name's Andy and this is day nine of our journey through Trevin Wax's Life of Jesus in 30 Days. Let's begin with a call to prayer using Psalm 31 verse 23 as a guide. Love the Lord, all you his saints. The Lord preserves the faithful, but abundantly repays the one who acts in pride. And now our gospel reading about the life of Jesus from Mark's gospel, chapter seven, verses one to 23. Now when the Pharisees gathered to him, with some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem, they saw that some of his disciples ate with hands that were defiled, that is, unwashed. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they wash their hands properly, holding to the tradition of the elders. And when they come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they wash. And there are many other traditions that they observe, such as the washing of cups and pots and copper vessels and dining couches. And the Pharisees and scribes asked him, why do your disciples not walk according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? And he said to them, Well, did Isaiah prophesy of you, hypocrites, as it is written, This people honours me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandment of men. You leave the commandment of God and hold to the tradition of men. And he said to them, You have a fine way of rejecting the commandment of God in order to establish your tradition. For Moses said, honour your father and your mother, and whoever reviles father or mother must surely die. But you say, if a man tells his father or his mother, whatever you would have gained from me is Corban, that is, given to God, then you no longer permit him to do anything for his father or mother, thus making void the word of God by your tradition that you have handed down, and many such things you do. And he called the people to him again and said to them, hear me all of you and understand. There is nothing outside a person that by going into him can defile him, but the things that come out of a person are what defile him. And when he had entered the house and left the people, his disciples asked him about the parable. And he said to them, Then are you also without understanding? Do you not see that whatever goes into a person from outside cannot defile him, since it enters not his heart, but his stomach, and is expelled? Thus he declared all foods clean. And he said, what comes out of a person is what defiles him. For from within, out of the heart of man, come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, coveting, wickedness, deceit, sensuality, envy, slander, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a person. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I love that Jesus once again overturns man-made religiosity and reveals what's really important, the state of our heart. What we really need, of course, is him, to take him in as the bread of life and living water. Only he can address the uncleanliness of our hearts and, by forgiving our sins, make us fit for eternal life with him. Glory be to God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever, world without end. Why don't we say the Lord's Prayer together? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I'll finish with a closing blessing from 2 Corinthians, verses 13 and 14. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen.